Today I'm going to show you how to install SAMP on Windows 10 and get it fully set up for your web development projects. Whether you are a beginner or just need a refresher, this tutorial will walk you through everything from downloading XAMPP to starting your first local server. So let's dive in. First open your browser and go to the official XAMPP website apachefriends.org. This is where you will download the ZAMP installer. So here we will have ZAMP which is Apache plus MariaDB plus PHP plus Perl. So these are all the technologies that ZAMP includes. And to download ZAMP you are going to scroll down and here you will see the download versions which is the ZAMP for Windows. 8.2.12 click on download this window will show up and you're going to click on save so you can save the installer.exe file if your download doesn't start automatically you're going to click here so once the download starts it may take a few minutes depending on the your internet speed the file is around 150 megabytes and it should be downloaded in no time once the download has been completed, you are going to click on the file. The ZAM setup wizard will open and you are going to click on next to begin the installation. Next you will see a screen to select components. I recommend leaving everything as default unless you have something specific to change. I will leave everything as default and I'm going to click on next. So here you are going to choose the folder where you want to install ZAMP. This is the default location, stick with this unless you have a reason to change it and then click on next. In my case the selected folder is not empty because I have downloaded ZAMP before. But what I will do is change the folder to ZAMP with 1P and this will do the work. Click on next. Language we are going to use English. Next again. Setup is now ready to begin installing XAMPP on your computer. Click on next and as you can see XAMPP is installing. This might take a few minutes so grab a coffee or stretch while you wait. Once the installation is complete, click finish to launch the XAMPP control panel. So this is going to be our XAMPP control panel. Here you can manage your server service like Apache and MySQL which are essential for web development. So we are going to start Apache. To start your server click the start button next to Apache. Make sure you allow access on Windows Defender Firewall for the server to work. So your status will change to green if everything is working. If not then you will have to troubleshoot and if you have something that we can help you with you can leave a comment on the video comment section and we will try our best to help you. If Apache doesn't start it might be because another application is using port 80. You can fix this by stopping conflicting applications by changing Apache port settings. So now let's test if ZAMP is installed correctly. Open your browser and type localhost. So we are going to type localhost. And this is going to be our XAMPP dashboard. This will only show you if everything is started and it's working properly. So this dashboard confirms that the server is running and XAMPP is set up correctly. From here you can manage your project, access PHP my admin and more. To set up your first project go to the htdocs folder in the XAMPP directory. This is where you will save all your website files. To do this, search for XAMPP htdocs folder. You are going to find this here. But if you cannot find it there, you are going to local disk C. And here you will have the saved folder which you saved when you installed XAMPP. And inside of this you will find the htdocs folder. So here we is where we are going to set up our first project and we are going to create a new folder for our project which is going to be code crusher. So you are going to enter this folder and here you are going to make sure you have selected this and you are going to type cmd and click on enter and the command prompt will open. So to open this folder inside of the Visual Studio code, you are going to type in code space and dot and click on enter and this folder will open in Visual Studio code. 
So here is going to be our folder and we are going to create a new file here with which we are going to name index.php and inside of this we are going to make our first PHP code which is going to be like this. So to create your PHP tag you are going to include it inside of a question mark and bigger and smaller mark. We are going to echo hello code crushers. This is going to show on your web browser hello code crushers and it's going to be sent from your local host. So to access this file we are going to go to localhost and we are going to the folder name which was code crushers slash index.php as you can see it's going to show hello code crushers because it's inside of the index.php file which is connected to the server so this message is shown by this server make sure that your web development project will work make sure you develop it inside of the htdocs folder and you access it by going to localhost and accessing it by folder name and the file name and that's it you have successfully installed and set up zamp on windows 10 and now you are ready to start building amazing web applications if this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Code Crushers for more coding tutorials. Let me know in the comments what you would like to learn next. See you on the next time. Peace out.